Get that run. Get that run, Tupo. I got this. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You'll be the life of the party. Alright folks, hope you enjoy the preacher hat right now. What are we? We're on the preacher right now. Where are we going? Our game plan is, believe it or not, to go catch bluefish and hopefully pick off a couple of nice big bass. Yeah, it's very early. Five o'clock in the morning. Heading out with the preacher, alright? Who we have today? Let's go take a peek. God. Good morning. Guys got ink on them right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got Good big morning. man. Good morning. Yeah. Big man. And Blackfish Billy right there. <laughs> and top of the morning. We're going to do Johnny's best fish and dead stick. <laughs> Right. Every time I fish with Maddie, I feel like I'm back in Lilliputian. I feel like I'm back. I feel like I'm back in the uh, Lollipop Guild. We represent the Lollipop Guild. Maddie is seven feet tall, 350 pounds, pure muscle. He's right now wants to kick because he should be at the gym right now. He says he's on his 50th rep already. But we're heading out. We'll be dragging Masha, all right, and uh, hopefully throwing top waters to bluefish and maybe bass, and we'll see what happens. All right. So let's take a ride. Better. Really, John? Is that better? I think you just turned half my audience into stone. I can't believe it. my first con shot right here. Little Johnny G over in Wanto, whacking a little bass over here. He had to see that stuff. The book gets God for life. So, right there on the preacher, Big Matt's on the boat, aka Sasquatch. And I said, Matty, take this boat for a ride, check it out. He almost launches Johnny out the back. <laughs> Sasquatch! <laughs> at the wheel! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. my God. The back of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that throttle. <laughs> so Johnny was no worse for the wear. Let's start trolling. Rocket assault on a sound shirt. Sure. He's into his wire. He's coming into wire right now. Guys, right, keep it as straight as you can, kids. And we'll just we'll keep you supported until we can pull this rod. This fucker's going right through the rod. Right it's easy as that, Billy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You got room for one more? Well, that's the job, man. Yeah, Welcome go. to the preacher. Oh. <laughs> so you want to catch a big one, right? <laughs> uh, well, you don't have to do any fire work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, today was back. Yeah. Oh, Just don't give them shit. ever slack. No, I don't. Johnny, what do you right. think? It's looking you good, it's looking good. I think it's going to be a nice big blue for him. Yeah, I, start I don't know. It's I not, kinda think uh, it's a bass. Uh, I think it's a bass. I think it's a bass now. He, he's on there pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a bass now. I think it's a bass now. Just watch that tip, Billy. Just the way you hit the pole. Yeah, I'm close off to keep that rod like, right like on that angle there. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know if you keep bringing it up, you may, you may spit him. And then you do all that work for nothing, and then we call you a jackass. And you'd have to go again. I told you I'd bring my A game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will, Will's watching this video right now. She, uh, he's nervous his dad's gonna drop a fish. His nickname, Blackfish Billy, will now be 
Drop the bull bill. <laughs> that doesn't match. It doesn't rhyme, but it will be. Will Over oh no! I told you he's gonna lose it. Don's gonna have to leave him. This is embarrassing. Yeah, he just he Poor it. Will. Unfortunately, we have it on video. How we lost it? Yep. Ah, brutal. <laughs> that was a good fish. Yeah, as I was, said, I bring look my Look how close you are, too. And Matt, is there, any reason, is there any reason he's sitting down when he's fighting a big fish like that? I'm not sure. Maybe that's what he does on his boat. But uh, that one hit the old Maj. power. Hit the Maj green. <laughs> yeah, when you sit down when you have a 40 pound bass, well, you know. Let it out? Uh, yeah, let it out. Pick it up a little bit. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's tough when the boat's moving. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't, hey, you know what? Yeah. Probably have the jaws on the end of the. Does your does your husband fish at all, or just you? <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice fish too. Hey, Definitely a nice fish. Know, that's a kick in the bean bag. <laughs> your ass, that was a big bass that at might the end. Have been the biggest bass of the year. <laughs> oh my god. That's why that guy's still around. Uh, I guess I see yeah. I bring my A game. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, hate, I'd hate to see his B game. Yeah. All right, Will, I apologize. You had to see your father fail like that, all right? But failure is good, all right? Unlike these woke, everybody gets a trophy people, failure is good. So what's it do? It makes you a better person. That means you try harder next time, all right, to achieve your goal. Simple stuff, all right? Let's get back to America, not the circus. And Donna, I mean, granted, that's almost grounds for divorce, that failure right there. Give him another shot. Stay with them. All right? Those two ladies were probably correct, but stay with them. All right, Splatfish so Billy makes mistakes. There's no doubt about that. We all do. We're all God's children, people. So now Yukon's going to tell us a little story of a little mishap he had. All right, so let's tell a story. What happened? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So my cousin, the pastor, goes uh, fishing with me from Texas. Texas, only steers and queers come from Texas. And uh, get a nice bass on, and uh, I tell him to tighten the drag, and he... Uh, Decides to set the bear loose. <laughs> <laughs> with wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With wire. And I had oh, the biggest no. bird nest you ever seen. Oh, no. So, uh, Joey Tiles, my boy, freaking hooked me up last night. Hey, Johnny, you can keep a secret, right? Dude, we undid the whole freaking line in, in his uh, court over there. And we must have ran it through 12 times. Oh, going yeah. underneath, going underneath, going underneath, going underneath. Oh, so he hooked me up big time. And good night. I gotta get the ER now, man. I gotta get the <laughs> give ER. Us one year. I got. I got. I got to grab the. I gotta grab the. Uh, <laughs> when I do that. <laughs> give me one yeehaw. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this yeehaw you kind of thing concerning me. By the way, Con, I'm not very happy that I'm not calling him Buttons. All right. Buttons are so easy for me. But these Yukon Cornelius, you guys got your way, your vote counts. So Yukon thinks he has his chi change for us. What is it, Johnny? It's slow. Time for a wardrobe change. That's better. Sasquatch got a fish on. Matty, come up a little bit, show a little bit in that rod so people think we have a fish on. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Although it's four pounds. We got a fish on right now. Yeah. Oh. That's what's up. What's going on? Did you take his keys this morning? Did you move them? No. He says he didn't touch them. All right, brother. All right, you got it. Billy, you're just gonna, now he's gonna walk up towards you yeah. when the fish is close, and just, if it's a blue fish, we're just gonna grab it yeah, yeah, and yeah. flip it off. Yep. We're gonna keep it though, because I need it. What do you think it is? Uh, it's not good. I think it's a six pound blue fish. Yeah. Maybe you got a slot striper. You think? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. Our, well, our we do have out. a fish for the video, Johnny. Mm-hmm, how you doing, Look at that, look at this right there. Not the fish. Pure sex machine. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I apologize to the video audience for that footage right there, but we gotta do it. So Maddie, although Maddie, Maddie's seven feet tall and pure muscle, Andy Fish looks smaller than him. Me, I'd be struggling right now. Oh yeah. And Billy would have lost it five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a blackfish, I would have caught it. Yeah, exactly. You're going blackfish, Billy, for a reason. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, that's a vicious, vicious sea robin. That's like a freaking two-pound bluefish. <laughs> you Perfect tuna bait, but pretty. Look at it. What are you going to do? You want to swing it in? Swing it in. All right, good. I need that. We got to get back out. Oh, what a monster. Johnny. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's why I bring the big guns up. Nothing like trolling. 
Yeah. <laughs> so what happened is a couple of seconds ago, we get whacked by a fish, no big deal. I go, did you hit the mark button? He goes, no, but I know exactly where it is. Exactly. All right, so let's exactly, Matt, right? Exactly. Exactly. Hit it marked by the helium balloon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Johnny had him mark literally with a helium balloon. <laughs> so Johnny, That's a good mark. That, that balloon didn't move. Johnny, just so you know, that big yellow thing's the sun. Yes. <laughs> it's marked perfectly. You are. I'm taking this right there. Right. I'm you, taking this right there. All right. So explain how you know exactly what happened. <laughs> There's a big green balloon floating around. Yeah, right. And I'm going to find it. All right. For those of you who don't get that, a helium balloon is not a fixed object like a lobster pot or a channel mark or whatever. It kind of goes with the wind and the tide and it goes wherever the heck it wants to go. But Johnny Boy is thinking that it's going to be there for the next drift, all right? I got to admit, I did chuckle about that, all right? So, all right, let's just do a little segue into we got fish on the troll. We lost some serious bass on those monster spoons. We lost the whole freaking rig. Thank goodness my name is Crime. Crime don't pay for those things because that would have been, uh, they'd be like a hundred dollar fare right there with the wide, the spoon and everything. It wasn't good. But in nice defense, the barrel failed. It snapped. I've never seen it happen, but a barrel snapped in half, all right? So we're heading around looking for fish. We got to get bait for our next trip going offshore. We're going to do some shark and try to, you know, set up the tuna spread, do a shakedown cruise. And sure enough, as we're heading around, we see activity. Turns are working. Fish are on top. Gets a little hectic. We have some casualties. Not personal t casualties. We had tackle failures and shenanigans. Let's look at this stuff right now. So there you have it. That's the way it was. Broken tackle, lost poppers, plugs, all that stuff. But we had fun. We got bait for our next episode. That's going to be interesting. And I want to thank Sterling for uh, jumping on Team Kid Code Cheese and doing the tuna sponsorship. All right. We got some uh, white track and stuff like that. I want to thank the Jersey Con man, which is very strong. Was telling me take a peek at Sterling when they heard that we were doing the tuna series. They kept saying go Sterling, go Sterling, go Sterling. I looked at Sterling. I look. I like the white track is very simple. They're fixed and it kind of says starboard on one side, put on the other. Pretty much dummy proof. We got those bad boys. We're going to use them in the tuna series. Looking forward to that stuff and doing shakedown cruises and getting some tuna on board, some shark and all the off store jazz. All right. Thanks again for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. I really appreciate you guys watching. Consider subscribing below if you uh, choose to. Like if you like. Tell me if you like this crap polar I'm doing here. And, uh, 
hit the like button. I don't know all that jazz. All right. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Email this thing out. Put it on your Facebook account. Say, watch the kid because this stuff is interesting. All right. We're trying to be funny here. We fish. We have fun. That's all that is. That's, that's, the, that's the freaking master plan here. We believe in God and we believe in our country. How can you go wrong with that? Seriously. What's so bad about believing in God, right? How is it now that as a Christian, I'm an extremist? Is that freaking bizarre? Is that that's what the world we're living in now in this country? Don't worry about it. We're in God's hand. God will fix this stuff. God works in mysterious ways. You've heard that way. And God will show that believing in God is the way to go. Right? So stay strong out there. Things will change. Things will get better. It's going to take a while. Get go cheese outdoors. Who loves you, baby? Get stay. Hey, folks, thanks again for watching Kid Co. Cheese Outdoors. Consider subscribing below, like it, like, all that jazz, all right? Remember, all content here in is that of Kid Co. Cheese, none of these sponsors. Thanks for watching.